Hello, 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 fashionistas. Welcome to a new installation of 5 to 15 Minutes of Fashion with your residence logo ho, Nina Johnson. Thank you so much for joining me. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be in the know for all things wonderfully fabulous and fashionable and fantastic. That was a lot of Fs. And if this isn't your first time here, thanks for coming back and congratulations to you on making bad life choices because we're going to talk about all types of glorious things that you can spend your hard-earned coin on. So today, I get lots of questions Today, I get lots of questions. That doesn't make any sense. I get lots of questions about um, me selling my items. And so I wanted to take some time to talk to you about like if you are a person interested in like the resale market, because I personally like to do what I call stacking it and flipping it. So when I, I buy something and I try to keep it in nice condition and I keep the box, because if I ever want, if I decide like I'm kind of over this and I want to get something different, I want it to be in a resellable condition so I could get a good amount of my money back from that purchase. And so I love selling my handbags once I'm done carrying them because they'll just sit in your closet and it could be money, just money sitting in your closet that you can use for something else. So I wanted to go over some of the bags that have fantastic resale value currently. Um, and I'm gonna run through two, um, two quick ones right at the top, but I wanted to make a note because there's lots of handbags that have good resale value. If I went through all of them, we would be here all day. Um, but two things that you need to consider if you are interested in purchasing a bag that you can love for a little while and sell it on the pre-loved market. Thing one, you want to get bags that are hard to get your hands on, so limited availability. If you can get your hands on a limited availability bag, that bag is guaranteed to maintain its value and possibly um, appreciate. So, I mean, and how many things appreciate, right? Like houses appreciate, Hermes Birkins and Hermes Kelly's appreciate. I'm gonna try to get my husband to take our savings and invest it into handbags and, well, specifically Hermes Kelly's and Birkins because I think it's a better investment. I mean, how much money are we getting like each month just our savings sitting at wherever it is? Like, I feel like we should invest it in Birkins. I feel like I'm gonna have a conversation about it. I mean, it's probably not gonna go well. It's probably gonna be like a turd in the punch bowl, like it's not gonna go over well, but I'm gonna try. I'll, I'll keep you posted. Um, sorry, you didn't need all that internal like dialogue that I just shared with you, but do you mind? Might be. So, first point, is it a classic bag? A classic or limited edition, sorry, not classic, a limited edition bag will always maintain its value. Um, especially if it's like a novelty, like a very popular novelty limited edition bag, like the Chanel basketball bag. Like that bag is a novelty limited edition bag, hard to get your hands on. Those bags will appreciate. Also classic bags of designers who do like an annual price increase. And I think Chanel might have done like two price increases this year. Like Chanel, you need to have several seats. Like you're doing the most. But to that point, if it is a Chanel, if it is a classic Chanel item that goes up in price every year, or any item of a designer, Louis Vuitton does it too, if it's one of their classic pieces that increases in price every year, that's a bag you should get because it'll have a great resale value. Because if you buy it now, say for $100, and the designer increases it $100 every year, in three years, someone purchasing your same bag, it will cost $400. I'm so good at math. Did you see me draw that math in my head? I chose round numbers um, because I wouldn't have been able to do it otherwise. So that bag that you purchased at $100, people are now buying at $400. And if yours is in good condition, you could probably sell it for three. Basic math, right? So let's start first with, since I mentioned them, Hermes. Now I'm not gonna show you tons of pictures of Hermes because Hermes is one of those brands that people aren't purchasing the, the average woman is it purchasing frequently. But if you do get your hands on an Hermes bag, even a pre-loved Hermes bag, it is going to retain its value. Like you will likely, depending on the leather type, you will likely be able to sell it for something close to what you bought it for, if not more, depending on the cover, the color availability and the leather. Um, and Hermes does a, I mean, Hermes is like the holy grail because they have both characteristics, right? 
their prices increase annually and their bags are hard their bags are just hard to get your hands on so there's limited availability which naturally drives up the price of them on the resale market um just some kind of notes here the birkin the 25 uh, inch the 25 centimeter togo birkin had a three percent increase the 30 this year uh the 30 inch 30 inch why do i keep saying inches also americans can we just get on like the page with the rest of the world will be like hmm millimeters and intervals of like 10 like screw it let's use 12 and go inches like ah, confuses me so uh the birkin the 30 centimeter birkin increased 2.65 percent and the 35 centimeter togo birkin increased one percent so they go up every year and so if you get, end up with one that's like coveted like you could sell it for what you paid for it they have fantastic they hold their value fantastically and a lot of them appreciate and then i just wanted to pull up this one picture you guys this is a birkin that looks like let me find it it was road hard and hung up wet and i don't even understand how it's a thing like and i see these all over like go on vestiaire collective look at this one so this birkin they are selling for thirty eight hundred dollars they marked it down for 59 how gracious um but look at this birkin road hard hung up wet and you can still, it looks awful. Like, and you can still get $3,800 for it. And this Birkin is probably like from, I don't know, from the 90s. Like, I see them as old as I am. I mean, I wasn't born in the 90s. I was born quite some time before that, but that's neither here nor there. But like, Road Hard Hung Up Wet Birkin, very, very, very old. Still $3,800. I mean, really hold their value. Next up, of course, the Chanel Classic Flap. So let me put this graphic up, stand by. So this Chanel Classic Jumbo Flap, in 1955, it was $250. And, and it's just so funny because in 2011, which I feel like, was that really that long ago? I guess it was. The um, Jumbo the jumbo Classic Flap was $3,900. I purchased my bag in 2015 and I paid around, I think after tax it ended up like $5,900. So $5,500 seems right. And in 2018, it's listed here um, at $6,200. And if I'm not mistaken, if you go to Chanel's website, the Leather Classic Jumbo Flap, is $6,800. So in theory, if I wanted to sell this little guy back here, hold on, let me pull this down. If I wanted to sell this little guy over here, that guy, the black one, I paid $5,900 with tax. I could probably sell it for that because it's in great condition. I have the box, I have my receipts, I have the authentication card, I have all the accoutrement with it. Like I could sell that bag for what I paid for it today. And I, I contemplated selling it because I don't carry it as much, but some people guilted me and told me I should give it to Lincoln. And I'm like, Lincoln needs to get a job. Lincoln's my daughter. Lincoln needs to get a job and get her own handbags because I was 30 before I got a Chanel bag and I'm just gonna give it to this freeloading child. I don't know. I probably will though. Um, okay, and then um, about this bag here, my Chanel 19, that bag was $5,100 when it was first released. And now it is $5,600 on the website, but the Chanel 19 is so difficult to get your hands on that I've seen it upwards of $6,100. And let me see if I can find that on Fashion File. So here's the classic beige on Fashion File, and it is listed at $6,000. So it is above the retail price. Let's see if we can find another. Um... Let's see. Oh, and here's another one. How much is the retail price? Here's a black one. And this is like the smaller size. Like this size is the smaller. This is the smaller size. So here we have the lambskin here in the, the smaller size. And it's $6,300. Now I know sometimes the leathers, I think that the lamb's leather is more expensive than the goat's leather just in general. But 
right now the Chanel 19 is a super hot bag and I because it's now a classic they're going to continue to redo it because it was released in 2019 that's why it's called the 19. Um, it was Karl Lagerfeld's like last design too which I think makes it super popular so that bag will hold its value so if you are in the market for like a Chanel classic the boy bag the 19 the double flap the 55 those bags if, if you treat them really nicely and take good care of them they will hold their value if not appreciate you will be able to get a good portion of your money back if not more from those particular bags so moving on to something um, a little bit less than like chanel and hermes prices dior so dior is on fire lately they have this book tote that i have and i love so that book this book tote retails on dior for oh my gosh why is this so tiny that's what she said <laughs> Sorry, this is super lame. So uh, the book tote on the Dior website is $32.50. And then if you go to Fashion File, it is $3,200. So that is a really good resale price um, for this particular bag. Now what I would say, if you were selling your bag yourself, if you were selling it directly to Fashion File, you're gonna get you're not gonna get that full 3200 you might get 80 percent of that which is still good but if you're a patient person it will sell faster on fashion file but if you're patient uh you could sell it on your by your through yourself on through yourself you can sell it on a platform like ebay uh tradesy i don't sell on because tradesy be tripping maybe trying to take like 20 percent of your sale and for that i might as well sell it with fashion file but ebay takes 10 percent poshmark i think poshmark has some problems with uh, people being concerned about the item being authentic but Poshmark has like an option now for an item over 500 the purchaser gets free authentication so they're great and then Vestiaire Collective love them you can always go sell on there too so if you're patient you could probably get that full amount um, you just have to it's going to take you a while for your buyer to be able to see it because luxury buyers aren't flocking as much to eBay and your Poshmarks and your Vestiaire as they would be um, like a like a fashion file or the real real just because those bags um, those places have trusted um, trusted those places are trusted <laughs> uh, and so they have um, a reputation of selling authentic items and so people trust them more but if you're patient like someone will find it um next up this is going to be nina's next bag the on the go tote the on the go tote right now on louis vuitton it's currently unavailable in almost like every color it retails for 27.90 um at the on the louis vuitton website and then on fashion file I should wear my glasses but they don't match my outfit so and they push my fake lashes so I'm not wearing them deal with it I'm just gonna squint and so the resale price of this you guys three thousand dollars for the resale so here we go with the yes yep the resale is three thousand forty dollars for this bag so again you take care of it you keep the box you keep all the documents authenticating the item keep the dust bag you will be able to recoup all if not more depending on the type of bag you get the next bag that i think is super popular right now and doing a good job retaining its value the dior saddle bag you guys i sold my saddle bag which is you know you have to be careful about bags you sell because some of them will do the old okie doke on you and come back and be like super popular and then you sold yours and then you're just sad about it so i sold my dior saddle bag and the saddle bags are like back in full effect and honestly look a lot like the original versions which i think it is the original version so on dior the saddle bag is thirty eight hundred dollars and the resale value i found one kind of like middle of the road on um fashion file and it is 33.50 i mean you guys this is a fantastic bag if you are considering that bag order it today because it will hold its value just treat it well it will hold its value okay next up it's the official bag of pumpkin spice season i mean i look at this bag and i just see the girl with the gucci belt and the front tuck chunky cable knit sweater and the over the knee Stuart Wiseman inspired boots with a pumpkin spice in her hand. The never full. I talk crap about it. But this bag is in full effect. It is very popular. It is currently out of stock. It retails for $16.20. You can't get your hands on one because they're sold out because everybody's loving it. It's the great, and it's like 
the bag for that girl and also everyone who's a mom like I bought it when I had my kid you can like pack for your child for a month like you leave the house if I was like a nomad I could like put everything I need in that bag and my kid would be like good for a month it was great but um so that bag is super popular so the resale value of this bag $13.90 and this one that I specifically found excuse me a fashion file um, it's kind of a middle of the road one. It's kind of like patinaed. Like you can see on the leather parts how it's kind of patinaed from oils on your skin and the oxygen exposure. And I kind of like when my bags patina just a little bit because that's one mark. That's in a that, that's it. That it is what was this? That it is an authentic bag. Yes, that makes sense, right? So if the bag doesn't patina, it's not a real Louis Vuitton. Just heads up. So if you see a bag, it could be like brand spanking new or it could be fake. Um, I'm not really sure why I'm whispering that. So yes, so this one is a little bit well used and I mean not well used, that's a gross exaggeration. Not well used. Um, it is like new but it's definitely had more patina on the leather because the leather is starting to look less of that bright kind of peachy tan and it's definitely getting more tone, hints of yellow in it um, like it does when it patinas. So, that is a good investment bag and even though right now I'm hating on it I, and like I don't know in five years I'm gonna be wishing I haven't sold mine because it's cute I love it next up another bag that I sold like what's wrong with me and all these happen to be Louis Vuitton I just realized I've been giving Louis Vuitton lots of love here but I mean they're just good they're just good at classic bags and the one thing about Louis Vuitton classic bags I thought the price points better than like Chanel's classic bag like a Louis Vuitton bag is a it's a if you have price sensitivities, you're buying really expensive designer bags. I think Louis Vuitton's a great brand because they hold their value well and all of their bags don't like. I, mean, I, don't, I can't think of a Chanel bag that starts below like a handbag, not just a wallet on a chain, that starts below like $3,000, $4,000. So Louis Vuitton's a good alternative to that. So if you have price, price sensitivity to Chanel's prices. Okay, so here's a Speedy. Nina sold hers. Not smart, Nina. But the Speedy, again, completely out of stock on Louis Vuitton's website. It retails for $11.40. Found middle of the road one. I mean, this one looks actually, this one's nice. It's in very good condition. It's $13.90. It is more than what it would cost you to get it new because it is a classic bag that increases in price and um, it's limited availability. So, I mean, that is the, that is the equation for should I buy this bag if my intent is to carry it for some time and then to resell it? And the answer is yes. Always buy the bag. Next up here is this um, Balenciaga handbag. I am obsessed with Balenciaga. Recently, I went from like having like two things that were Balenciaga to just everything I see that's Balenciaga. Like I feel like I need it. I feel like my soul says you need to buy it. You want it? Like I walk by them in the store and they're like. We want to come home with you. I think that's that's the Balenciaga. Like, that's how they sound. We want to come home with you. Take us to your house, please. And then what am I supposed to do? Am I some heartless, like, criminal who hears these innocent clothes begging for a loving home? I am a loving human. So I just take them home because I love them. So my next thing that I'm taking home is this Balenciaga Hourglass handbag. Again, this good bag is a good price point, too, for a luxury handbag. Online, the Balenciaga Hourglass on the Balenciaga site it retails for, good lord, where's the price? Why is everything so tiny? For the love! Oh my god, what does that even say? $18.90? For the love of all things holy. Yeah, it says $18.90. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna have to start wearing my glasses. Like, this is bad. Or like, really blowing up these images because your girl can't see. So this bag retails for $18.90. It's the embossed croc. I love it. So I couldn't find the embossed croc which if I found it, it probably would have been more than like your standard leather because just your embossed Crocs are more expensive just in general, but found it on the real real for $19.50, which is basically the same price. And it's like less fancy than the brand new bag. So Balenciaga Hourglass bag, it's a gorgeous bag. Um, and I think it, it looks very fancy. I think if you would carry it by the top handle, but I think if you do it as a crossbody, you could make it look more casual. I think it's a versatile bag. I love it. Gets two thumbs up from this gal. Next up, my new obsession. And also a bag that I sold. Maybe I'm not a good person to take advice from because there are several bags in here that I have since sold 
that are appreciating in value. So like, let me just get back on track. So here is the Balenciaga uh, chain cassette bag. You guys, I have the biggest boner for this bag. Balenciaga, did I say Balenciaga? I meant Bottega Veneta. I just got excited. Like my Bottega Veneta boner, like all the blood rushed to my Bottega Veneta boner and then my brain didn't work. Men will understand that. So love this Bottega Veneta uh, cassette crossbody bag. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. What is that? You would like to join my collection? Oh my gosh, you are such a sweet bag. How could I tell you? How could I tell you? No, you guys, this one's getting really, I'm gonna cut that out. That got super strange. But this bag is gorgeous. And I think if you buy this bag in like these super bright, vibrant, yet popular colors, I think you can even resell it for more. I found it here. Wait, the price. It retails for three, mother of God, why can't I see it? Um, it retails for $39.90 and I found it resell for $3,600 but again the black isn't as, a pop, isn't as popular as this green and so that green's been a super popular color so if you bought the green you'd be able to sell it well above this $3,600 like I'm willing to bet money on it. Money I don't have because I'm obsessed with handbags. And then this guy bought this guy. I did a video about this guy. I was so excited to have this guy. This white pouch uh, on a chain. I was obsessed with it. Like when I just, when I started doing around this time last year, I started doing my um, YouTube videos because it was pandemic fun and then it kind of like turned into a thing. But I had this white bag and then for my anniversary, take this down. I got this guy and I was like, do I need to Excuse me, pardon me. Do I need two white leather bags with a gold chain? Like, is that necessary? So I sold it. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm saying to myself, self, that was not the good choice. I did not make the right life choice. Yes, I needed both of these bags. Like, you guys, so dumb. But this bag retails for $3,600 and I see it here for $3,245. And this particular bag does not have a box with it. If it had had a box, this bag would be, I've seen these, box, these boxes, these bags well above the retail price because they're so freaking hard to get their, your hands on them. And I'm just disappointed that I sold my bag. So this um, five to 15 minutes of fashion is making me depressed. I want all my bags that I sold back. I joke, I kid, I love my bag. I, I, I do think that the Chanel 19 is a better option. And I think given the choice, I would probably always grab that one if I had an option. So, you know, whatever helps you sleep at night, Nina. You guys, that is it for this edition of 5 to 15 Minutes of Fashion. Please join me next week for another edition of 5 to 15 Minutes of Fashion. That was redundant, but you feel me. You see me. Uh, thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. Hope you guys had fun. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Uh, hug each other and love each other and stay fashionable, dolls. See you next time.